happy day 24 of gratitude. Let's start in a seat. I'm gonna face you so you can see me. I'm gonna bring my left leg in and I'm going to place my right leg over, foot flat on the ground and make sure both glutes are on the mat. You can bring this foot out further if you need. Sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes, shoulders away from your ears. Relax your face and take a deep breath in and let's twist to the right. So your left arm can come on the outside of that leg and look over that shoulder, exhale. One more nice deep breath in, exhale. And one more breath. And let's switch sides. Right leg comes in. Left leg comes over, foot flat on the mat. Go ahead and twist, bringing that arm on the outside of that leg. Look over that left shoulder and take three breaths. Don't mind the sirens. Come back. Come into butterfly pose. If your hips are tighter, you might wanna bring your feet out. If you want more of a stretch, bring your feet in. Go ahead and grab your ankles, sit up nice and tall. Back is straight. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in. And bend from your hips. And come down. Take three breaths. touch the ground and then bring it back in. Right leg, breathe in, exhale, don't let it touch the ground, bring it back in. Other side. And right side one more time, breathe in, exhale, on to all, um, all fours, hands and knees to tabletop, breathe in, exhale, right leg comes out, stretch that calf, and then lift up, square those hips, tighten your abs, and bring your left arm out, tighten those core muscles and breathe. Bring it down. Left leg comes out, square your hips. Right arm comes out, tighten those core muscles. Take three breaths. the planes are flying over today my goodness and a couple cat cows so you're gonna breathe in to open open your chest exhale round through chin to chest breathe in open it up exhale round it through curl those toes under bring those hands up just a little bit hips come high downward dog. Walk it out. 
Stretch those heels while breathing. Breathe in, bring those knees almost to the mat, but don't touch the mat. And then exhale, stretch those heels down. Breathe in. And one more time, stretch those heels down, exhale. From here, we're gonna step our right foot up and then our left foot up, forward fold. Bring your belly to your knees. So it's a nice bend in your knees. Let your uh, top half just hang heavy. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Bring your fingertips to the mat and just kind of bring your weight to your toes. Straighten those legs out. Try to bring your chest toward your knees or your thighs. And breathe in, slowly rise up. Exhale, arms overhead, and then hands come to heart. Bring your hands to the lower part of your back or the small of your back, and we're going to do a small back bend. So your hips can come forward, breathe in, hips start coming forward, and exhale. Come back up, breathe in, and exhale. And come back up. Breathe in, arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive it down. Go ahead and hug into your legs. Breathe in, exhale. Fingertips come to the mat. Breathe in. Left leg comes back. Exhale. Open up your chest. Go ahead and lower down on that knee. Arms overhead. Breathe in. Exhale. Sink deeper into that hip. Slight back bend and fingertips to the mat. Lift that back leg. You can bring that right hand around on the inside of that foot to grab that heel. See if you can then maybe place it back on the outside. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale. Lower it down slowly. Lift up on that back leg and come into a plank. Take three breaths in your plank. So um, tighten your core, heels face the back of your mat. You don't want your hips sinking and you don't want your butt up too high, right? So if you tuck your tailbone in, tighten your core, you'll really feel it. Nice deep breath in, come forward or lower to your knees to modify. Exhale. Breathe in to come up, upward facing dog. Come to your left hip. Bring your right leg up and twist. Look over that shoulder. Take a breath. From here, bring that arm over your ear and lift. Take a breath. And lower it down. Come back to upward facing dog. Come over to your right hip and then bring that leg up. Twist, look over that shoulder, take a breath. And from here, 
I'm going to lift and bring that arm over my ear and lift those hips up. Breathe in. Exhale. Lower it down. Legs come long. Come back. Upward facing dog. Lower it down. Curl those toes under. And come into a downward dog. Walk it out. Try to bring your chest towards your thighs. Grab that mat, grip it. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. On your next breath in, left leg comes high. Exhale, step it up. Open that chest up and then lower down. Arms overhead, sink into that hip, breathe in, exhale, slight back bend, hands come to the mat, lift that back leg, you can place your left hand on the inside of that foot to grab that heel and then place it on the outside, fingertips on the mat. Deep breath in. Exhale. Lower it down. Frame that foot. Come up on that back leg. Come into a plank. Come down to your knees. Chest and chin. Feet come flat. Take a breath. And upward facing dog. Sit back. Child's pose. Round through. Curl those toes under, walk those hands out, and come into downward dog. Walk it out for a moment, breathing. On your next breath in, right leg is gonna lift to three-legged dog. Exhale. Touch that right knee to right elbow. Hold it, take a breath. Right knee to left elbow, hold it, take a breath. And then come back into three-legged dog. Breathe in, exhale. Step it up. And from here, bend your front knee. Slowly rise up. Arms overhead. And I'm going to open up to warrior two. So my back foot is now flat facing outwards. Arms come out. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, reach front. Tip it back. You can also place that hand on your leg for more balance. Look up to the sky and come back to warrior two. From here, I'm going to turn my back foot, hands come up, and I'm going to step that foot up closer to come into warrior one. Now, I find that if I widen my stance, it's easier for me to get my hips front in warrior one. Arms overhead, palms come together, front knee is bent, back leg is straight. Breathe in, exhale, one more breath. Hands come to the small of your back. We're going to do a small back bend. Breathe in. Exhale. Oh, it's not easy. And come up. From here, frame that foot. Come back to a plank. 
breathe in, come forward, exhale, breathe in to come up, exhale, downward dog, walk it out, take a nice deep breath, one more, On your next breath in, left leg is going to come into three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, hold, take a breath. Left knee to right elbow, hold, breath. Three-legged dog, breathe in, exhale, step it up. Slowly rise up. Oop. Catch your bearings, find your bearings. Arms overhead, breathe in, exhale, open it up to warrior two. Breathe in to reach front, exhale, tip it back, peaceful warrior. Breathe in to come back. And you can heel toe, heel toe, or just step that foot up closer. I'm gonna widen my stance a little so that my hips face front. It's like a wider stance instead of so narrow. And arms overhead, warrior one. Breathe in. Exhale. One more breath. Exhale. Hands come to my back, small of my back. Breathe in. Exhale, small back bend, and rise up. Arms come overhead, frame that foot, come back into a plank, knees to the ground, sit back, take a moment. Slowly round your back up, curl those toes under, hands come out, come back into downward dog. Walk it out. Breathe in to come up, open it up, exhale, three more taps, breathe in to come up, open those hips, bend that knee, and then exhale, bring it through the center, and drop it into a pigeon. Open that chest. Take a breath. One more. Make sure your hips are square to the front. And slowly start walking down. You can stop on your elbows if you want or continue. And bring your forehead down. Take three breaths. And slowly walk it up. From here, I'm going to lift my back leg, grab that heel, and stretch it in closer to my glute. Make sure your hips are still facing front. I know it's easier to fall onto that right glute, but we want to keep it facing front. Go ahead and lower it down. Bring hands to the mat, curl that back, back toes under, lift that knee, breathe in, exhale, slide that leg out, 
lift those hips, bring that arm over your ear, take three breaths. Both hands on the mat, come back to downward dog, walk it out, breathing. Your heels and your Achilles tendon should feel looser now, not so tight. Nice deep breath in, left leg comes high, exhale, open it up, breathe in, come through, three taps, exhale. Breathe in to come up, open that hip, exhale, three taps. Breathe in, open it up, exhale, bring it down into pigeon. Open that chest. Take a breath. One more breath. And slowly start walking down. Forehead to the mat or stay up on your forearm. You can also stay on your fingertips if you need. Take three breaths in pigeon. Slowly walk it up, lift that back leg, grab that heel, and stretch it in towards that glute. Take a breath. One more breath. Lower it down, lift that knee up, and slide that leg out. Lift those hips. Arm comes over ear, take three breaths. Both hands to the mat, come back to downward dog, walk it out. Breathing. On your next breath in, right leg lifts high. Exhale, step it up, turn on that back foot, open up, warrior two. Breathe in, reach front, exhale, tip it back. Breathe in to come back, turn on that back foot, hands to heart. Breathe in, slowly, Exhaling, rise up to warrior one. Whoop. Start over if you fall. So we're here. I turned on my back foot, hands to heart. Breathe in, exhale, lift up. Go ahead and lower it down. Back to warrior two on the bottom. And we're going to try half moon. So again, I'm going to turn. You can step up a little bit if you need. And then I'm going to start opening up to the side into half moon. You can also bring your fingertips to the ground if that's easier. And take three breaths. If you fall, start again. That's how we learn. Look. All right, anyways. Okay. I'm recording. Okay, great, thanks. Sorry. We're gonna try one more, no. Try one more time. I'm really bad on this side. Anyways, okay, meet me on the top of the mat. Breathe in, arms overhead. Exhale, lower it down. Halfway lift, straighten that spine. Give it a good stretch. 
and forward fold. Fingertips come to the mat. Let's step it back to downward dog. Walk it out, breathing. On our next breath in, I'm gonna lift my left leg high. Breathe in, exhale, step it up. Turn on that back foot, open it up, warrior two. Breathe in, reach front. Exhale, tip it back. Back to warrior two. I'm gonna turn on my back foot. Whoop. You can shorten your stance too if your legs are too far apart. And we're gonna come into warrior one. Breathe in. Exhale. stance a little bit and let's try out half moon on this side open up to the side if you fall start again take three rests Meet me at the front of your mat. Arms overhead, breathe in. Exhale, dive it down. Halfway lift. Straighten that spine. And forward fold. Breathe in, slowly rise up. Exhale, arms overhead. Hands to heart. We're gonna do one more balance pose. We'll do eagle today. Go ahead and small bend in your knees. Uh, upper body is nice and straight, back is straight, shoulders are down. Hands can come to heart. Breathe in, right leg comes over. Exhale, wrap it around, arms come out. Left arm wraps underneath. And take three breaths. Find your focus. And bring it down. Shake it out. Let's take it to the other side. Small bend. Upper body is straight. Hands to heart. Breathe in. Lift. Exhale. Cross it around. And right arm com comes underneath. Find your focus. Take three breaths. And shake it out. Meet me back at the top of your mat. Breathe in, arms overhead. Exhale, dive it down. One more halfway lift. And forward fold. Both hands to the mat. Come into a plank. Take a breath. On our next breath in, we're gonna lift our right leg. Lift, exhale. Bend that left foot, heel back, like, see I'm going back and forth on the ball of that foot. So only do that once, but I wanted to show you as an example. So let me show you on the left. I'm gonna breathe in, lift my left, and then exhale, push that heel back, bring it down. Breathe in, exhale, push it back. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Let 
Knees come down. Swing them around. All right. Slowly sit up tall. Charlie's Angels fingers. And slowly, slowly, slowly point your toes. Sit back. And bring your legs up, arms overhead, straighten those legs. So as my right leg comes down, my right arm comes down. And as my right leg comes up, my right arm goes back. See what I'm doing? Make sure you're breathing. Don't stop. Hug those knees in. Great job. You did good. You did good. All right. From here, bring your legs out long, and I'm going to bring my hands underneath my glutes, like somewhat, not all the way, just like halfway. My elbows are back straight. I'm going to take a nice deep breath in, and you want to arch your back to eventually get your crown of your head on the mat with no pressure because you're using the strength from your forearms and your legs to hold you. This is called fish pose. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And slowly and gently lift up. And from here, Bring your arms behind you. We're gonna do a reverse plank. So I'm gonna breathe in, exhale, lift your hips, head can come back, or stay in line with your spine. Keep those hips elevated. Breathe in, exhale, lower down. Let's do it one more time. We're gonna breathe in, exhale, lift. One more breath. Slowly lower it down. Perfect. Let's come into a boat. So we're gonna breathe in, and then I'm gonna exhale to low boat. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale and hold it. Lower down, stretch it out. Oh yeah, that was, that was tough. But y'all be thanking me, I'm telling you. You will be thanking me. All right, last but not least, we're gonna do a bridge pose. So bring those feet close to your glutes. You can bring the feet a little bit wider than your hips. Just make sure you keep your knees in line with your hips. Don't let them splay out or come in. So just squeeze your knees together. We're gonna to take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift up. Breathe in, exhale. One more breath, exhale, slowly lower down. 
Now, since we did a lot of back bends and things today, I want to do um, like the reverse of that. So a nice round back. And in order to do that, a good pose for that, you guessed it, plow pose. Feet come up, breathe in, use your hands to help come back. Maybe your toes touch, maybe they don't. You can also assist your lower back by placing your hands on the small of your back. Make sure you breathe. One more breath. Hands come to the mat. Keep knees close to your face. Keep legs straight. Slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. And hug those knees in. Give yourself a hug. Thank your body for all it's done for you today. And bring your knee to nose or nose to knees, whatever. <laughs> and lower it down. Let's come into a corpse pose. I'm gonna bring my legs down, hands to my sides, relax your legs, relax your feet, relax your glutes. And I can feel my glutes just relax. Just let it go. Relax your arms, relax your face, relax your jaw. Close your eyes. Drown out the noises around you. Put aside your to-do list, shut off your thoughts, and I just want you to breathe and maybe think of like a mantra as you're breathing. Um, a mantra is just something that you repeat over and over to kind of meditate and not block out other thoughts, but kind of move them aside until you're in a nice meditative state. Maybe you repeat love over and over inside of your head. Whatever your mantra is, you're welcome to do that. do that at this time. Otherwise, let's start breathing and just listen to your breath. And I'll let you know when to start coming up. Go ahead and wiggle your fingers and toes. Very softly open your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And then you can slowly come to one side and meet me in a comfortable seat. Or if you would like to hug your knees in, grab those shins, chin comes to chest and slowly Start rocking and rolling up to a seat. And meet me in a nice, comfortable seat. I'm going to do half lotus today. Sit up nice and tall. Hands come to your knees facing the sky. Close your eyes. And think of something that you're grateful for today. For me, I'm grateful for 
my job, my husband's job, and the fact that we can have a home and clothes on our backs and food in our fridge. Not, you know, it's just everyday things, but I try not to take them for granted because it can change at any time. And next, I want you to think of something that you love about yourself, inside or outside, or maybe you don't love it about yourself, but you want to try to or learn to. And I want you to think of something positive. It could be more than one thing, but at least one positive thing about that part of you. And I want you to repeat that to yourself like a mantra over and over for however long as you need. And last, think of an intention for today that you'd like to set for yourself. And if you get to it, that's amazing. And if you don't, we can try again tomorrow. Bring your hands to your heart. Sit up nice and tall. Take a nice deep breath in. Hold it. Exhale. Empty it all out. On your next deep breath in, visualize that positive energy coming in. When you exhale, visualize negative energy going out. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Hold it at the top. And exhale. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me today. It's a pleasure as always. I appreciate each and every one of you. Namaste y'all. I will see you tomorrow for day 25. Stay peaceful, stay beautiful, stay loving and powerful. Love you guys.